So apparently the Washington Commanders with the number two overall pick are leaning towards drafting Jaden Daniels instead of Drake May. The betting favorite right now is actually Jaden Daniels too. It used to be Drake May, but the line has moved over the past couple weeks. Obviously that's not a clear end all sign that it's gonna for sure happen, but when it comes to sports betting, line movement is definitely a thing to keep an eye on and what that basically means is that it's likely to happen. So just a little interesting thing to keep an eye on if you're in a sports betting or just if you're a Commanders fan or a Patriots fan. There are two other signs why the Commanders might be doing this move. One being Cliff Kingsbury. When he was with the Cardinals, he obviously had Kyler Murray and he was a dual threat quarterback. And just in general, Cliff's offenses usually are catered more towards a quarterback that can move in the pocket. Not to say Drake May is a, is a complete statue or anything like that, but it's ideal for someone to have some legs in a Cliff Kingsbury offense. Another sign is the only current quarterback on the Commanders roster right now is Marcus Mariota. Again, another dual threat guy, can pass it, can run it. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense for your quarterback to be non-mobile and your backup quarterback to be mobile. Usually when you have a mobile quarterback as your starter, you tend to get a backup that can also move. So those are two clear indications well, three if you count the line movement, that the Commanders will actually get Jaden Daniels instead of Drake May. Commanders go, I feel like you can't go wrong with either pick. The only thing about Jaden Daniels, which is interesting, is that his biggest weakness is that he takes massive hits. And when I think of a Washington quarterback that took a massive hits, you obviously think about RG3. I mean, you should really go back and look at some of the hits he took. He really was a rag doll out there. Like, I've never... <laughs> has there ever been a quarterback that got beat up as badly as him? Like, he took some crazy, crazy shots back in the day. Not only that, but obviously, like, him breaking his leg in that playoff game against the Seahawks was pretty famous and just had a bunch of injuries also now that i'm thinking about it fedex field that washington field is kind of cursed you know you got joe theisman back in the day that crazy nasty injury and more recently you got alex smith suffering that broken leg injury which he almost passed on in the hospital due to an due to an infection so i don't know there's i'm not superstitious but there's something there on that field in washington and there's something there with quarterbacks not really being healthy in washington that's kind of the only caveat i know it's not really like a concrete reason why they shouldn't draft Jaden daniels but just just something to keep an eye on in the future especially if health is a concern for him early on in his career. There have been a lot of reports too of the commanders getting a lot of trade offers. I imagine one of those teams trying to move up are obviously the Minnesota Vikings. They currently hold the 11th and 22nd overall pick, I believe. So if they can't move to spot two or three, for sure, they're going to try to move up in other areas of the draft. Maybe four with the Cardinals, maybe five because you kind of got to jump the Giants possibly with them maybe drafting a quarterback. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But the point is, I can almost guarantee you that the Commanders will not be trading that second overall pick. Why would you? <laughs> and they're not going to. Even the owner spoke on... 
drafting a quarterback and wanting a quarterback and needing a quarterback. So regardless, the commanders are in good hands. We'll see what happens. As far as the Patriots' sake go, let's say the commanders do take Jaden Daniels with the second overall pick. They'll end up with Drake May. If they don't trade that third overall pick, which I'm hoping they don't because they need a quarterback. They need something on that offense. I just really hope they draft a quarterback for as a fan. Like it's no fun watching like a Mac Jones, Billy Zappy offense, you know, on a week to week basis. It's just depressing and I'm not even a Patriots fan. You know what I'm saying? Like just draft a quarterback. Don't trade it, please. Don't trade it. Gerard Mayo, the new head coach, obviously feels the same way. He had a quote today. They are prioritizing drafting a quarterback this year. So I know quotes and these political answers and media related garbage doesn't really mean anything, but let's just hope he's a man of his word. <laughs> so if the Patriots do draft Drake May, I just think that would be a good pairing. I do. Um, just for the sake of Boston, <laughs> I mean, I'll call it what it is, you know, Boston, <laughs> kind of an awkward subject, but, you know, they kind of like their white guys more than their colored guys, and, you know, it is what it is, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I just think Drake May will be maybe a better fit in that city, uh, than Jaden Daniels we'll see what happens um but hypothetically if Jaden falls to the third pick they'll obviously take him they'd be really stupid not to <laughs> imagine if they drafted JJ McCarthy over Jaden Daniels wow that would be I don't know that just wouldn't happen but who knows <laughs> point being as long as the Patriots don't move off of that pick, which please, please don't, they'll end up with a quarterback, and hopefully it's a solid one because it's been a minute, I feel like, since Tom Brady left New England, and I kind of didn't really like watching, you know, the Mac Jones, Cam Newton, awkward era. I think it's time. I know the Patriots fans have had 20 years of greatness, but... I don't know. Kind of feel bad for them to a certain extent. Give them a QB. So we'll see what happens there. One last little thing that I saw on NFL memes today. Just a funny little thing. Drake May. It's kind of awkward, but <laughs> Drake May only follows white NFL quarterbacks. He follows Sam Howell, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow. Works, but he doesn't follow any black quarterbacks like Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, <laughs> Kyler Murray. I don't know. I just saw it earlier today. just thought I would mention it to roll it back to the Boston thing. Very awkward subject matter, but I don't work for ESPN or Fox or CBS, so I'm at the liberty to actually talk about it. <laughs> Those guys would never be able to. The producers, whoever's in charge, would never allow that. But again, kind of a tricky, awkward, but very truthful subject matter. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. Where do you think Jaden Daniels is going to go? Where do you think Drake May is going to go? Are they going to be busts? Are they going to be legit? Let me know what y'all think. That's all I got for right now. Peace.